Hey guys, how are you going? And welcome back to Lockdown. How are you coping? Today we're talking with Keshav. Now Keshav lives in India, um, and he's got a really interesting perspective on, I suppose, lockdown and how it's working because it is so different in India. People are not following the rules like most places. But it's just really interesting talking to him, finding out about him, what he does, what he's not able to do, and all of that kind of stuff. If you are enjoying this series, please make sure to give me a thumbs up, leave comments down below, and let us know anything you want to know about the series and anything else. If you haven't already pressed the subscribe button. Um, I will say this is the final interview in this series. I've had so much fun talking to everyone, but I will roll the final interview. Uh, uh. So yeah, do you want to tell everyone your name and where you're living in India, all of the details there? Yeah, it's okay. Like I will tell my city name. And... Yeah. My name also, it's good. Like, I don't have any problem with that. Yeah, so do you uh, want to say it now so we can, yeah. Yeah, and like, when you will ask me about my lockdown activities, if you want, I can tell that I started my own YouTube channel where I post mm -hmm. comedy videos. And my videos are in Hindi, that's an Indian language, but they have English subtitles. Yeah. Um, and whereabouts are you? So you, obviously you're you're based in India. So whereabouts in India are you? Oh, I live in Jamshedpur. It's in Jharkhand. Okay. Yeah, and I'm a university student, majoring cool. in economics. Yeah. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah. And um, so I suppose how has lockdown been in India? Because I mean, I've seen little bits on the news, but nothing major. So how, what is lockdown like there and how is it, how is it working? Yeah, like we started off and now we are in the fourth phase of the lockdown. Okay. Like there was lockdown one, lockdown 2.0 and then 3.0 and okay. currently we are in 4.0. Okay. okay. So initially we started with uh, like everything was stopped. Only the essential services like grocery and medicines were open. Even uh -huh. doctor shops, yeah. Others, everything was closed. Even restaurants were closed. In some cities, home deliveries were allowed for restaurants. Mm -hmm. In others, even that was prohibited. So, wow. yeah. And now in the fourth phase, things are relaxing. Other shops uh -huh. are also opening and all these stuff. Cool. And how has it affected you? And with university and stuff, have you been doing lectures at home or like via the internet or have you still been going to university? Yeah, since universities have been closed since past 2.5 months, uh -huh. uh, some, some universities are conducting online classes and some are not able to do that because all students don't have internet access in India, you know. So okay. it's not possible for everyone, but yeah, like most universities are trying, but some students are being left behind, unfortunately. Like okay. they are not able to study there. So that's an issue. And some universities have canceled the examinations. Like they have thought of promoting the students to the next year without exams. And okay. some are just thinking about it. Some even conducted online exams in between this pandemic. Yeah, I, I, I had some friends here in the UK that did online exams. But the problem with that, I think, is you, well, you can cheat because there's no one watching you, yeah. you know, you, you can do what you like. Yeah, that's the good part about it. <laughs> For students, it's good, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yes. Um, and in terms of lockdown, have you been restricted to like the house or have you been able to go for walks and that kind of stuff? Or what, what have you actually been able to do? Uh, yeah, as the lockdown started, we were not allowed to get out unless we want to go out for some essential service like grocery or doctors or medicine. Wow, but, so completely inside, like, that's it. Yeah, but now, since, like, as the lockdown is increasing and as the time is increasing, we are allowed to go for morning walks and even go to our nearby parks and all. And it varies from city to city. Lockdown is not fully same across the country, you know? Yeah, of course. Every every pl place is doing their own kind of thing, different thing, yeah. slightly different. Yeah, and not all people follow it strictly. So people go to different houses also. Of and course. Just chill. Yeah. I think that's the same around the world. No matter where you are, people are going to just break the rules. There are rule breakers everywhere, aren't there? So. Yeah, exactly. 
that's the thing <laughs> and for the lockdown have you found any good things about it have you enjoyed anything from lockdown yeah first thing is that it's very relaxing like i have a lot <laughs> of, of time for myself <laughs> So um, I got a lot of time to sleep and then I started my own YouTube channel in between this lockdown, which yeah. earlier I wouldn't have ever thought of because it's a very, like for me, it was a very new thing. I didn't know it was this simple before I started. Yeah, so, it's, it's pretty simple to like just create a video, upload it and there you are. So I think lots of people have become more creative and there's lots more people on YouTube now because of this. Yeah, exactly. So I was always interested in comedy. So my friends always said me to like try it something like in a bigger platform so yeah. since i was getting bored in lockdown i thought of giving it a try on youtube so my first video i just shooted it in the terrace like i just turned on my mobile front camera and recorded yeah. it so you know it was a very random video but i uploaded it on youtube and i shared it with four to five of my good friends and they said it was a good video like as a beginner so yeah. i later shared it all over my social media and so now that video has 600 plus views so so it people was really are enjoying cool. it there's people out there that like it yeah exactly yeah especially in lockdown because there's no comedy stuffs coming up because all stand-up comedians are not conducting any shows so yeah it's yeah i agree though like i mean i don't know if you've been on my channel but my channel there's a bit of comedy entertainment it's kind of a bit of everything and lots of people are making such serious things and i'm like this is the time we should be having fun and yeah like, why, exactly. is, why are you so serious the world is in a disaster people are thousands of people are dying across the planet why is everyone making more negative things let's be positive you know yeah exactly like in such pandemic times we should try to be positive and spread positivity around us yeah, I completely agree. And on the other side of that, have you found any bad things from lockdown? Like, is there anything you've not enjoyed about it? Uh, personally, I didn't find anything much bad. But yeah, I feel really bad for the poor people. Like, they had to suffer a lot of things. Like, Of course. Yeah. Um, obviously, so in, in India, you have, obviously, there is quite, um, I think this is worldwide known, that there's quite a rich yeah. and poor divide. Um how yeah. had, do you know anyone that is in like a poorer situation or, and how it's affecting them in any way yeah like since i told you that we are in complete lockdown since past two months mm -hmm. everything is shut like so the vendors who used to uh, set up their stalls across these cities like on the roadside and sell things they didn't have any business in past two months so it's a very big thing for them they are struggling to have food but yeah the government is trying to provide food to everyone but you know government in developing countries are not that effective anyway <laughs> yeah of course of course so i imagine like all of those stores and stuff were they done by like poorer people then so it's kind of like their that is their income yeah mostly oh wow so i suppose yeah for them like you know in a country like here a business closes but they've got enough money in the bank like it's a proper structure so that's got to be hard, you know, that's your only income and you don't have that. So you literally have nothing. Yeah. And the NGOs have tried their best to provide relief to the people. But, you know, we are the second populous country in the world. So of course, it's yeah. never easy. Yeah, well, yeah there's a lot of is people. It, is, there, is it a billion people or something like that? I yeah, think it's, yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's about 1.3 1. billion. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> At the rate we are growing, we are expected to like even surpass China by 2060 if we wow. didn't reduce our rate. But yeah, it's crazy. It really is. Um, and um, is there anything you're missing from the old world, like things that you used to be able to do that you can't do anymore? Yeah, like playing cricket because cricket is my favorite game. It's not that oh, yeah. famous in the West, but the countries which were a part of British rule once, they all love cricket a lot. So yeah. for them it's a big thing. And yeah, I can't chill out with my friends anymore. Like I'm a person who used to chill out with friends almost daily. Like we used to sit together, have fun, like talk about various things for hours and yeah. all those stuffs, you know. So that's something I'm facing too much yeah um and what do you think what what do you think the lockdown will go like do you think you'll move to a new stage soon or have you just moved to 4.0 like what what do you think the next thing will be do you think they'll make it easier and like lift it up and stuff
Sorry, I think I lost you there. <laughs> um, so for the lockdown, do you think the government will um, lift it and make it like 5.0 soon and make it easier for you to be able to go and see your friends and things again? Or do you think there'll be all time before that happens? No, they are using it now, like uh, the flight services, I mean, the airplanes and all the traveling services, like mm -hmm. the airports, domestic airports, they will be opening from 23rd or 25th of this month. Oh, wow. So, yeah, and even the railways will open from 1st of next month. So, yeah. So you're able to travel, travel again. And do you, is there going to be restrictions? Because I know, like, what we have here is you can only get on a plane to fly somewhere if your destination and where you live is there. Like that's that's the only way you can fly. Will that be a similar thing or will you have more free yeah. with it? Yeah, the government was earlier providing railways only for the migrant workers who were not able to go back to their home. So this thing has been running for about two past two weeks, I think. Mm -hmm. So yeah, earlier it was like this, but you know, now also there are many people who are not migrant workers, but like people working in different professions or maybe who went for a tourist purpose in some other cities yeah. or states. So I think they will be given first preference here, but government hasn't made it clear yet. Uh, governments never make it clear though. My government yeah. is, the last speech was go up, go outside, but stay at home. So what does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and um, when when it goes, I suppose, back to normal, you know, we're not in lockdown, the pandemic's kind of cleared up and stuff. What's the first thing that you think you'll do that you can do uh, again? Uh, for me, it will be playing cricket and chilling it, chilling out with my friends again because that's the thing something. Said, yeah, just being able to go and do those, you know, not being told you can't do them. Yeah, exactly. And do you, do you think because you can't do them and you've been told you can't do them, it makes you want to do them even more than you would <laughs> if that makes sense? Yeah, and I can assure you that this is not just with me, but with every Indians. Like, it's a human tendency, but with Indians, it's a bit more, you know, like they yeah. are breaking rules. <laughs> and have there been many rule like have you seen many people break rules like go and play cricket for example or anything have you seen any of that happening uh, uh, they didn't have the audacity to go and play cricket because the police has been strict in many places like they are thrashing people with sticks and all like you know and no uh, <laughs> yeah because people don't follow lockdown like they just roam around in the road or, without or, any purpose see See, although although I think that that's wrong, I kind of like that because here the police are just so relaxed. So maybe if they did hit some people, maybe <laughs> like because it's only a very small amount of these very idiotic people that don't understand what this is. And maybe if they got hit around the head or something, maybe they would. <laughs> I don't I, I don't wish this or anything, but maybe they would learn to stay at home. And actually, you know, if we stay home now, soon we'll be able to go out sooner if you know what I mean. Yeah exactly and in a country like India it's very important for police to be strict and like thrash some people to set up an example because otherwise people are not going to understand it you know like they don't yeah. think things seriously yeah so that's an issue. And with that do people actually like so if you saw it would you then go okay I'm gonna go home now because I don't want that to happen to me or would you like do people just carry on? Yeah, I think like if you have some important work, you should go or like if it's something important, like not very important, but at least it should be important. You shouldn't yeah. just roam around in the streets or just tell that I want to play cricket. That will be very stupid during this pandemic, you know? Yeah, no, I agree there. And um, when it's all over, we're back to normal, the world's back to normal. What's um, the thing you're going to miss from lockdown is if there is anything you'll miss? Uh, that's the relaxing part. Like now, I'm not tensed about anything. I don't give a fuck about my exams or anything. Yeah, like, of course. Uh, you know, we always wanted that one two months, like when we didn't have any tension or any stress about anything, like mm -hmm. just to enjoy. So this is the best time about it. <laughs> so I think, that's yeah, I think, I, I'm gonna yeah. miss a lot. Yeah, I think a lot of people um, are enjoying it and taking it and taking the most out of it, like and really just going. This is like, because I mean, I don't know for you, but when when we were like when I was at school, for example, every year we used to have a six week summer holiday. 
Yeah. And you looked forward to that every year. And this is almost like that. People are having that again where they can just do what they like. There's no stress. There's no drama. Like, it's just do what you like. Yeah, exactly. And I had been so free during this lockdown that I used different apps to make different friends from different countries. So it was a good experience, like meeting people, different people from different apps. So it was also a very good experience. Like now I have had friends from about seven, eight different countries. Oh, so wow. it's always good, it's good exchanging yeah. ideas and like interacting, just normal interaction. Yeah, I think I think I'm the same. Like doing this series of videos, I've really connected with um, lots of different people from across the UK, um, yourself, um, I, a girl in Australia, like I've really connected with different people who I would never normally connect with. And I think it's bringing the world a lot closer than um, it was, I suppose. Yeah, certainly. That's a really good thing, you know, like it's really enjoyable. Also. Like we get to know a lot of new things. Yeah, exactly. But I do wonder after this and when we go back to normal, will people still try to connect with strangers or will we just go back to what we used to and back to our lives, I suppose? What do you think? Uh, most, most of them are certainly going to return back to their normal lives because they are already so much left with their pending works or pending studies and all such stuff. So I don't think they will have that much time to get back to such enjoyable things like interacting with people, uh, relaxing and all those stuffs you know yeah no I, I agree I think I, I mean I would try to like I think we I think we would all try to make the effort but I don't think a lot of us will just because life is back in the way isn't it like life's a problem really like working college university um all of this kind of stuff and I just think we'll just go back to probably we'll probably be worse than before because we've done so much of this we'll be like we don't want to speak to people anymore. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, just as you said, I will also personally try to continue with it as far as I could. Yeah, no, I'm the same. Well, that's all I've got in terms of um, questions and just kind of finding out about India and how lockdown is working there and from yourself and everything. Just before we do go, do you want to um, leave everyone the name? Obviously, you know, your your um your YouTube channel is in Hindi with the English subtitles, but people might be interested in um, going and checking that out. Um, so if you want to just let them know your name, your name of your channel, and I'll pop all the links and stuff below in case people do want to go and check that out. Yeah, my name is my name is Keshav Agarwal, and my channel's name is also the same, Keshav Agarwal. I post comedy videos on YouTube, like stand-up types. Um, and now, obviously, I have to shoot that at home. And my videos are in Hindi language, which is an Indian language. But yeah, I have put in subtitles, English subtitles, so that all English speaking persons can say it. Like, you know, I just, as I said, I had some foreign friends, so they wanted me to add those subtitles so that those who cannot understand the audio in the video, they can go through the subtitles and have some fun. And I must say that all your viewers should at least give it a watch once because my friends really liked it so yeah i think they should give it a try yeah definitely no i'm gonna have a look now um it's quite it'll be quite cool to actually see um yeah and i think the subtitles will help a lot like especially with english english is such a world spoken like you're speaking english there's people all across the world that speak english so you should attract quite a lot of people having those subtitles on there i think yeah it will i did it because you know it will certainly help me gather more traffic in my video if not Definitely. by a large percentage at least by a small percentage exactly yeah. exactly but yeah that's everything uh, that i have so thank you so much for being on my channel thank you for being part of this series and hopefully you know you stay safe and everything and we're back to normal soon yeah it was really glad interacting with you and it was really awesome like answering your questions and telling you some stuff about what's happening in India now and in my life. And yeah, I wish your viewers get to like this as well because I think it's an interesting video where they can understand what's actually happening in other countries because obviously media, media doesn't cover it all truly, you know. Well, this is it. The media, you know, it says something, but like it doesn't reflect the individual things. And I think, yeah, this is why yeah. I'm doing this to try. And for me, for me more so, like, of course, I'm making this, you know, I would like to get views on the videos, but it's more about me connecting with people, understanding what people are going through. And I think for me, that's quite important. So, yeah.
yeah and as a viewer i always like such videos so i think people will like it and they should be interested in seeing such stuff you know yeah so perfect. well lovely thank you so much for coming on and yep stay safe and um have um a nice rest of the lockdown i suppose enjoy your relaxing yeah most welcome and yeah you also stay safe and enjoy the lockdown thank you very much take care yeah take care bye bye thank you bye bye it was great talking to you well that was it that was keshav's story i really hope you enjoyed talking to him and me and listening about india and how it's so different there to the uk here and just how keshav's enjoying his free time and not doing too much and just chilling because that's what it's all about, is about taking time for yourself and just kind of sitting back. But that was it, guys. That is the end of this series. I really hope you enjoyed this as well as all the others. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Leave comments down below on this video or go back and watch some of the others. The thingy is up there somewhere where you can, um, I suppose, watch the whole um, series. If you want to go back and do that, you're more than welcome to. Um, appreciate all the feedback on that. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel. Um, other than that, I'm going to say bye. And I will see you on Mondays and Fridays at 12 o'clock for brand new content. Um, there might be a new series in the works as well. Bye.